Ah, let's hope this uh, little Nokia N8 will do the trick. Do I look silly to you? Do I look silly? <laughs> of course I do. You gotta be kidding me. Do I look silly to everybody? Yes, I bet I do. <laughs> Why is this guy got a fuck ton of gaffer tapes trapped to his face? <laughs> oh yes, Russian logic. If one gate shuts, the other one is bound to be open. Well, if this works out, I might just do it more often. <laughs> Excuse uh, the wind stuff. I guess my uh, last attempt at positioning the headphones microphones. <laughs> The heck with microphones was a little bit better. But yeah, it seems to be working well. I, uh, I'm perfectly happy as long as I don't go. Hmm. Anyway, this is the Rush, the Soviet gamer, attempting his very first mode of log. Well, this isn't my very first attempt, believe me. This is my second attempt with low budget motor vlogging kit 2.0 still includes my uh, <laughs> mini disc player attached to a pair of headphones which are uh, gaffer taped inside my helmet and uh, <laughs> this time instead of using my uh, high def camcorder I am uh, using a Nokia M8 strapped to my chin guard and I'm really really hoping that this time it's actually going to point in the right direction because uh, my high def camcorder uh, it let me down big time first of all it was unreliable as fuck and uh, the other thing that I need to mention is every time I tried to attach it to something at first it was my uh, helmet the top of my helmet <laughs> uh, the second time I uh, actually attached it directly to my dashboard and uh, that failed miserably because the first time the camera pointed at the ground and all you see was the ground whizzing by underneath me the second time it was mostly pointing at the sky oh what an epic fail this time I'm hoping to solve that problem with uh, my Nokia 8 because it's got a wider angle lens on it and also it's not uh, stupidly unreliable this is uh, <laughs> not going to be as good as my last motor log attempt context wise well mainly because last time I went for a nice lovely ride showing uh, some green lanes around Flanaki this time I'm not going to do that because I've been through that green lane twice let's just put it that way and twice I have managed to fail at recording I even had uh, some mini disc recorder issues you know <laughs> isn't it ironic when a uh, piece of technology that you expect to uh, work best and the mo be the most reliable thing you got cuts off at you twice and doesn't even save the recording it literally just cut off I don't know why that happened it just happened bastard anyway this time just to make a little difference I'm going to go to Swansea well Gower area anyway Vlachal area 
Why? Because I don't want to do the same motor vlog twice. No, no, look. Check it out. The biggest bong in Clackley Town. Biggest bong! Just imagine a shed load of weed just burning underneath and some giant mountain person <sighs> taking in all the lovely smoke. Bicycle. Well, the good thing is, uh, wind noise is not an issue. Not inside my uh, in helmet microphone system that I've devised. Which is a good thing. I can hear myself fine. I'm not distorting. I am really enjoying this actually. I just really, really hope that uh, the Nokia N8 has enough memory in it to record all of this footage for you guys. I can hear birds chirping. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, and here comes the 30 mile an hour limit for no reason road. Biker! Just another kindred spirit on two wheels on this lovely glorious day. And my coat's become a little bit undone. <sighs> I've never went up that road. I have no idea what's there. Probably just a shortcut to Kevin Kia. Just another little area of Lanathli. And here comes the fun part. Number one. Engage! Warp 10! <laughs> Come on baby! You know you can do 50 for daddy! Do 50 for daddy! Do 50 for daddy! Come on Suzuki Van Van, don't let me down! Alright, drop down again, let's go! <laughs> Maximum walk! Well, it is a bit unusual to see no traffic behind me. It is unusual. I'm not making a massive queue of traffic. So, yeah. Here we are. The little Lucha area. I hope I don't run out of petrol because I have no idea how much fuel I got left. Gala! I love Gala. It's the best if you want to spin around the countryside. I am definitely going to make a motor hog up there. Definitely. If this works out well, that is. <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> I have no subject for this video at the moment. I did have uh, for my last failed attempt at making a voto lock. I want one. I want one of those bikes. Plenty of luggage space, back seats. Mm. Here comes the boring stretch of the road where everybody is driving so very slow. And only bikes, and only bikes can avoid the stupid speed bumps. <laughs> oh my god. Reliant Robin, I don't believe it. Oh my god, please let this thing record. And record it well. Yeah, I'm just going to make a quick drop by uh, Gawa with the hope that my entire camera system and uh, mini disc audio recording system remains in sync. Come on, dude. Turn right. You can do it. You can do it. And now, you can step on it. Get out the way, dude. That's Cleo? Bloody hell, they get uglier every generation. God. That's ugly. Dude, Mr. Personality, because you're so ugly. So ugly. 
Now that's a Cleo. Probably the only decent looking one. We are going under the bridge, under the bridge. We are going under the bridge. <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you, yeah. I was thinking about this whole thing. The whole thing. With the whole um, vlogging, motor vlogging, gaming vlogging news. And uh, basically the direction that I should take with my YouTube channel. And my thought is... Well, I did enjoy making the Let's Play video for uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I did sort of feel like it's uh, nothing new to me, and uh, you probably noticed that uh, my enthusiasm for gaming vlogs is a bit... Nah. I will probably have a go. I will probably have another go. Why not? Because why not? But I'll probably be doing more indie games nowadays. I will still do some Nintendo vlogs. I care. But uh, I'm thinking about taking my channel in a different direction. Also, uh, I am uh, in the process of making some uh, new music as well. That part of my channel has not changed. I'm still going to be doing Nintendo remixes. Probably not going to do any original tracks. Because I, uh, well, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> it's that simple, really. I am more into uh, making the new uh, vlogging thing, magic, blah, blah, blah. That didn't come out right. Well, I'm happy to announce, while I'm not certain what's going on with my Nokia N8, it might have fallen off my face, you never know, but uh, I'm happy to announce that the mini disc is still recording, and uh, it's not letting me down this time for some reason. I also really, really hope that I don't run out of petrol, because <laughs> honestly, I have no clue how much fuel I have, especially after that little ride earlier on. What a waste it was! The camera was pointing in the wrong direction. Well, seems like we're still recording. I can tell because I got a red light on my Nokia N8. I like it. That means it works. And I can still hear myself on a mini disc. Which means the mini disc is still recording. Do I see any blinking shit? No, I fucking don't. That means it's definitely not stuck in pools. Because <laughs> I think that was probably one of my failures. I hit record, but I also left it in pause. <laughs> That's why every little piece of my audio that I've recorded, even though I had loads of fun doing it, I made a subject about the whole farm hedges and how they're annoying as hell and make it impossible to see around corners on single lane country lanes. Yeah, all of that has gone to waste. Yeah, I might as well speak about hedges. I hate hedges. I hate them. I hate them. What? Well, on an all roads, I don't really give a shit. A road like this, there's plenty of uh, room to go both directions. But on single uh, country lanes, you know, the ones that are only just about wide enough for one tractor to fit through. You know, the two, two way kind. What really pisses me off is that farmers use hedges to guard their sheep instead of fences. I know hedges are a lower budget option, but think about it this way they are highly dangerous on country lanes because country lanes are not straight, they're bendy and they take traffic two ways, not just one. It's not a one way street. And the fact that the head is blocking the view make it like extremely dangerous. It's bloody annoying. It's a massive inconvenience. I don't like it. Seriously, I would make hedges illegal on country lanes. On the wall roads like this, yeah fine, stick up a hedge. 
it's only uh, annoying to those of us who want to enjoy the view instead of having it spoiled by some pointless greenery. But, yeah. Do whatever you feel. Do whatever you feel. <laughs> I really hope I don't run out of petrol. Watch out for the bus. Bus, bus, bus. Watch out for the bus. Also another point of this little video is um, a little mini review of my uh, motorbike. Yeah, what am I riding? It is a Suzuki Van Van. It's a 1 to 5cc 4 stroke bike with a slightly small engine. You know, my friends mentioned it like, hey, that head is both small. It's small, man. Except they were talking to it like in a very Welsh accent. Welsh accent. Um, you know, like a lot of farmers do. Well, anyway. I bought this bike. I bought it about uh, two years ago, or well, almost two years ago. That's uh, this is my first bike, very first bike. I've been riding it for, for a while, every day almost. And uh, yeah, the engine on this thing, while weak, it's not going to get you anywhere fast. It's definitely very, very reliable, thanks to Suzuki Engineering. It's definitely a good, reliable engine. It's not going to get you anywhere fast. My top speed is about 55 mile an hour. I can do 60 downhill and about 40 to 30 mile an hour up steep hills. By the way, for anybody visiting Pencloud, this is a good chip shop. I like it. They got good lasagna. And the people are pleasant. And now we're going to carry on talking about my bike. Of course. So yeah, engine, reliable, good stuff. No point repeating myself about that anymore. Have I had any maintenance issues with this bike? Well, yes I have. Uh, they were mostly electrical. Also, recently I managed to catch a punch here, which means I have to pump up my tire every single day. It's annoying, but at least it's functional. I'll just have to save that 15 measly pounds in order to get the garage to fix it because I don't have a center stand and I can't get my wheel off in order to fix this shit. Next thing, handling. I, uh, well, it handles as well as a good chopper would. It's not a scrambler, it's not a super bike. It's uh, designed what it's designed to do. And that is uh, cozy, comfortable cruising and uh, very high fuel efficiency. Thing. Just think of it this way. Cars are very expensive to run. Now think about it this way. Public transport. From Planackley to Welshpool, which is in North Wales. That's like uh, from south to north Wales. Uh, it's a four hour trip. On the cheapest train line. The cheapest. There's more expensive ones. 30 quid one way ticket. I can't imagine how expensive it would be on the expensive train line. I don't know how much it's going to cost in the car, but on this bike, I can get there for half the price. 17 quid gets me to North Wales. That's brilliant. Bicycle, bicycle. I don't want to ride a bicycle because it's too fucking slow. I don't want to ride no bicycle because it's just no fun. 